Hello everybody, I have a new integrated amp, I807. So this is the I807, separate power supply. That's the main amp. The main amp is the same size as the 802 and 806. I've decided to take the power supply out of the main amp, the transformer, the bridge rectifier, out to the separate chassis to make a really quiet integrated amp. Capable to drive in a 107 dB or even 109 dB horn loaded loudspeaker and with a little bit of hiss just like those tubes or maybe even less than that. But there will be no switching, dial switching noise and audio file cord, but really, it's really not dial switching noise, it's something else. But I'm not going to go into this in this video, that's another topic. So, transformers are in there, um, part of the power supply is also in there. That I have extra space so I can build up the capacitor of the power supply up to more than 1.8 farad. That's 1.8 million microfarad. What's the benefit of it? Well, over the last 20 years, I have been increasing power supply capacitance in an experimental way all the way to over. 2,500 farads, but that's commercially is not viable because it just costs too much. So for integrated amp, 80 watts per channel in 8 ohms, 120 watt per channel in 4 ohms, no, I'm not going to double the power because I'm talking about quality instead of quantity when it comes to integrated amps like this because the, yes, it will drive speaker as low as 82 dB but this one particular is designed for higher efficiency speaker and quiet that's the main goal for this amp and it has the nimbleness the edge out and it also have the base authority that high efficiency speaker can produce but it's no point to have a sledgehammer to drive a finishing nails you want to have a, the right weight of the hammer to drive the right nails. In this case, the 807 are very suitable for high efficiency speaker. I am going to bring that camera closer to show you the close up and the internal of the amp. But it's a very simple design, a volume control that's remote, volume control and a selector switch which has three inputs. If you want more input, we can look into that, but standard is three inputs. A lot of people don't even need more than more than two. But anyway, so I am going to put the mics down and open the cover and I will bring the camera closer and I'm also going to show you the back. I'm coming to take the camera down. Be aware when I take the camera down, it will be shaky. Close your eyes if you get seasick. So this is the power supply. You probably will see my reflection because the front panel is very reflective. This is the main power indicator for the output stage. That little green light is the power indicator for the input stage. That This is the I807. Hey, come on. Let's focus. Yeah. Volume control. and select the switch nothing complicated it's just two knobs and that's also the power indicator for the output stage now going to the inside I'm gonna put down the mic put down my glasses I purposely leave those big curved wire and that's a natural band of wires I don't put any stretch on the wire as little as possible, really, as little as possible. These are four output stages and four sets of orange and blue wire going to the output stage and they're all natural band. I'm going to go to the back and look at this. Yeah, well, recently some people saying like that's kind of like a snake pit or something. But if you look close enough, if you actually can look close enough 
those wires are very comfortably sit at the spot with a gentle slope and gentle curve of every one of them have a little gentle curve so you can see they are not tight tightly bounded even even this I'm gonna put down the light okay that's the light here even these things you see the wire tie the wire tie is actually you can turn the wire tie it's move it's loosely loosely bound to the wire it's not tight at all the reason for that is I want to loosely couple so they the signal wire don't couple directly tightly coupled to the power wire even though they are 90 degree it's not supposed to couple any noise from the power line but you know half a step more and one step more is is not costing anything extra just a little skill and patience I suppose when you actually mass produce this it will cost something but I'm doing it one at a time when I'm doing it one at a time I take my time do it right you will not get this kind of build from a mass production this is the back panel this is a uh, three input plus a subwoofer output you can also use a subwoofer output as the preamp output this uh, let's focus hey come on focus this is the left and right binding post this is the more interesting side of the back panel the two power cord the two DC power cord the uh, black blue and uh, red that's the input stage and the other one is the output stage and the extra jack they cost SP cap pack which is designed to hook up a external capacitor pack for the input stage FCF 35 volt is designed to hook up the external capacitor for the output stage and FCF is available in various voltage so therefore 35 volt you have to get the 35 volt to suit this one ground lift switch is basically disconnect the earth ground to the signal ground and of course the chassis ground is also grounded for safety now that's the back panel of the power supply just a name model number and a non-detachable DC power cord to the amp so why is it non-detachable because I want to eliminate as little connection as possible the less connection it is the better it is but for convenience I still have to put a connection on the amp side of the cable it's you know it has to, I try to get as good as possible but it still has to be practical two two chassis together is almost more than 60 pounds 30 kilogram and trying to carry them and trying to put it in a shelf it is asking for a lot now, some installations are just not possible so there is a connection uh, notice these two cable together have three separate grounds that is designed to have the quietest possible noise floor and more ground is not going to have less noise floor less ground not necessarily going to have higher noise floor the right amount of ground is the most important thing so it is it depends on the design so to determine how many grounds you need so that's another topic for another time and I am going to put the camera back on the tripod light to the back mic with me so that is the end of the video and if you want to look uh, see more details of this integrated amp I will put picture on the website in and on my Flickr page there now you don't get seasickness until then stay safe and bye